today we are going to talk about how we can calculate the price elasticity of demand and further kis tarike se different demand curves ki shape se hum ye conclude kar sakte hain ki us demand curve ki elasticity kya hai so these are some things that we are going to discuss in today's class we have already stated the meaning of price elasticity of demand and we have said that price elasticity of demand tells you percentage change in quantity demanded for percentage change in prices so we can say that price elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in prices yeah so suppose i say that there has been a 10% increase in the price of a commodity because of which the demand of the ice cream has fallen by 20% suppose you have uh, this data given to you and you have to calculate the price elasticity of demand then simply you will say that price elasticity of demand in this case will be 20 divided by 10 which will be equal to 2 now we can say that the price elasticity of demand in this particular example is equal to 2 i mean in this book specifically we are not using the negative sign here but usually the price elasticity of demand is negative why negative because you see that the change in the prices are in the opposite direction as changes in the quantity we know that the demand curve is a negatively sloped curve जहां पे जब प्राइसेस इंक्रीज होती है तो क्वांटिटी डिक्रीज होती है तो जब भी हम बोल रहे हैं दैट प्राइस इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड इज नथिंग बट परसेंटेज चेंज इन क्वांटिटी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू परसेंटेज चेंज इन प्राइस यू कैन ऑब्वियसली नोट कि यहां पे अगर आप क्वांटिटी देख रहे हो तो वो नेगेटिव मतलब डिक्रीज हो रही है सो देयर हैज टू बी अ नेगेटिव साइन और यहां पे प्राइसेस इंक्रीज हो रही है सो देयर हैज टू बी अ पॉजिटिव साइन सो अल्टीमेटली एज अ रिजल्ट योर आंसर actually should be negative but just for the sake of simplicity and to avoid any confusion hum yahan pe negative sign use nahi kar rahe hain we are only looking at the absolute value of elasticity which is equal to 2 so we say that the price elasticity of demand in this particular example is equal to 2 aur jiska matlab hai that the change in quantity demanded is twice as large as the change in price so to reflects the fact that for a given change in price the change in quantity will be twice as the change in price matlab agar suppose prices change ho rahe hain 1% se to quantity is changing by 2% if the price is changing by 2% then the quantity is changing by 4% so the change in quantity is twice as much as the change in the prices that is the meaning of price elasticity being equal to 2 this is one way of uh, solving price elasticity of demand the other method of solving price elasticity of demand is a graphical method where you have the demand curve given to you and it is also sometimes called as the midpoint method now uh, say this is the demand curve given to you you have prices here you have quantity here and you have two points here point a and point b at point a price is 6 and quantity is 80 and at point b price is 4 and quantity is 120 so there are two points given to you point a and point b and you have to calculate the elasticity going from point a to point b and from point b to point a one issue that you will note here is that if you apply this formula jo abhi humne formula dekha hai if you apply this formula here uh, in this graph then between two points you might get two different elasticities which is that if you are saying ki hum elasticity nikal rahe hain from point a to point b then you will get a different number for elasticity and if you calculate the elasticity from point b to point a then you will get a different number for elasticity you can verify this and check that you will get two different numbers so suppose you uh move from point a to point b no wait this is point a this is point a and this is point b so if we talk about moving from point a to point b 
then you notice that there is a 50% increase in the prices aur ye percentage change aap kaise nikalte ho you subtract 6 which is the final price minus the initial price divided by the original price so 6 minus 4 will be 2 into 100 this is how you calculate the percentage change and you notice that the percentage change in price is 50 moving from point a to point b and the percentage change in quantity is 33% so again you will take from point a to point b elasticity is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in prices quantity demanded mein kitna change ho raha hai you will have 80 minus 120 divided by 120 and percentage change in price will be 6 minus 4 by 4 this will come out to be minus 33 because yahan pe 80 minus 120 kar rahe ho aap so obviously you will have minus but we will ignore minus in our final answer jo maine abhi aapko pichle uh, point mein bataya so you will have minus 33% here and here you will have 50% so your elasticity will be equivalent to 33 by 50 which is if you solve it you will get 0.66 hum minus sign yahan pe avoid kar rahe hain so absolute sense mein elasticity is 0.66 if you move from point a to point b now if you repeat the same calculation from point b to point a then you will notice that your answer will change now you will take Uh, your quantity, final quantity to be 120, and your initial quantity to be 80, because you are moving from point B to point A. So quantity change will be 120 minus 80 divided by 80, and price change will be now your final price is 4 and your initial price is 6. So your price is falling, and your quantity is increasing. Opposite हो रहा है as compared to the previous uh, example. you notice that now your quantity is increasing by 50% so you will have positive 50% and your price is decreasing by 33% in absolute sense your answer will be equal to 1.5 yeah so you notice that you are calculating the elasticity between the two points a and b but just because of the change in direction of movement you notice that your answer is different for the first case when you move from point a to point b your answer is 0.66 whereas for the second case when you are moving from point b to point a your answer is 1.5 so which one is correct which one you have to rely on becomes a problem and this is happening because you are taking a different base in the two cases in both of these cases you notice that uh, if you look at the formula here you notice that your base is different yahan pe your denominator value is 120 whereas in this case your denominator value is 80 the numerator is same 80 minus 120 or 120 minus 80 the numerator is same the, only the sign will change but we don't care about the sign in our answer but your base is changing similarly if you look at the prices you notice that the base here is 4 whereas the base here is 6 and because of this change in base you get a different answer so to avoid this problem you use a different method to calculate elasticities that is called as the midpoint method the midpoint method says that you take the base as the midpoint of the two points so yahan pe jab hum percentage change nikal rahe hain rather than taking 4 or 6 as the base if you look at the first case you are taking 4 as the base and you are in the second case you are taking 6 as the base midpoint method bolta hai ki rather than taking 6 and 4 as the base you take the midpoint as the base or midpoint kya hoga so basically what you will do is you will first calculate the midpoint for price and midpoint for elasticity price aapke paas ek hai 4 dusri hai 6 you calculate the midpoint of this by using this formula 4 plus 6 by 2 is equal to 5 similarly you calculate the midpoint of quantity so this is the midpoint for price and this is for quantity this will be 
now when you are calculating the elasticity what you do is you take the percentage change in quantity and you divide it by the midpoint rather than dividing it by 120 or 80 you divide it by the midpoint similarly for the prices you do the same thing rather than dividing by either 4 or 6 you divide it by the midpoint and this will avoid the differences in the answers you will notice ki chahe aap point a se point b calculate karo ya point b, b se point a calculate karo your answer will be the same so you will have 40 by 100 and minus 2 by 5 here you will have so you will get your elasticity to be exactly equal to 1 and this is an advisable method when you are calculating elasticities between two points on a given demand curve jab bhi koi demand curve pe do points given hai and you are being asked to calculate the elasticity between these two points this is an advisable method because of the issue that we just saw that if we take the elasticity from two different directions we might get a different result because there will be a change in the base value so we replace the base value with the midpoint of the prices and the quantity and then we calculate the elasticity the value of the elasticity can either be less than 1 it could be greater than 1 or it could be equal to 1 what is the interpretation of these different cases so if the value of elasticity is less than 1 which is that when elasticity is 0.5 0.6 or 0.7 so on and so forth then we call such cases as the cases of inelastic demand curve when the elasticity is greater than 1 for example 1.5 1.8 1.2 then we call them as the cases of elastic demand curve and when uh, the elasticity is exactly equal to 1 then we call that case as the case of unit elasticity so primarily आप इन तीन कैटेगरीज में अपनी इलास्टिसिटी वैल्यू को डिवाइड कर सकते हो लेस देन वन ग्रेटर देन वन इक्वल टू वन एंड दीज आर द मीनिंग्स ऑफ दीज थ्री केसेस इन इलास्टिक का बेसिकली इंट्यूटिवली क्या मतलब होता है दैट व्हेन द प्राइसेस आर चेंजिंग द क्वांटिटी इज नॉट रिस्पॉन्डिंग मच द क्वांटिटी इज नॉट चेंजिंग मच एंड दैट्स वाई यू गेट दीज लोअर वैल्यूज इलास्टिसिटी या ज्यादा इलास्टिसिटी ग्रेटर इलास्टिसिटी का मतलब है दैट द क्वांटिटी इज ऑल्सो चेंजिंग significantly for changes in prices and that's why you get higher values now for each of these cases what is the shape of the demand curve so first case is a demand curve looking like this and the second case is the demand curve looking like this now inelastic ka matlab hai ki agar price change ho rahi hai to quantity pe koi farak nahi pad raha hai wo in dono mein se is wale curve mein ho raha hai इस वाले कर्व में आप देख रहे हो दैट प्राइस चाहे कितना भी चेंज हो जाए योर क्वांटिटी इज फिक्स्ड एट दिस पॉइंट योर क्वांटिटी इज नॉट चेंजिंग एट ऑल एंड दिस इज द केस ऑफ परफेक्टली इन इलास्टिक डिमांड कर्व एंड यू कैन इवन रिमेंबर दिस बाय लुकिंग एट द शेप ऑफ दिस फिगर रिजेंबल्स द एल्फाबेट आई एंड आई स्टैंड फॉर इन तो आप उस तरीके से भी इसको याद रख सकते हो दैट दिस फिगर इज an example of a perfectly inelastic curve and perfectly inelastic ka matlab hai that the elasticity value is equal to 0 zero. zero ka matlab that prices kitni bhi change ho jaye quantity will not change at all this is the case of perfectly inelastic demand curve whereas if you look at figure b what is happening your prices are not changing but your quantity is changing this is a case of perfectly elastic demand curve where the value of elasticity is equal to infinity where we say that the prices are not changing but the quantity is changing indefinitely so these are the two extreme cases of uh, demand curves the first is a case of a perfectly inelastic demand curve and the second is a case of a perfectly elastic demand curve in between these two cases you can have different cases of demand curves and we say that the flatter the demand curve is this one is a flatter demand curve whereas part c is a steeper demand curve this is a steeper demand curve this is a flatter demand curve and we say that the flatter the demand curve is the elasticity also increases so as the demand curve becomes flatter 
elasticity increases. And the reason being that if you look at the change in price here, agar aap ek constant change in price dekho dono cases mein, you will notice that in part C, the change in quantity is very small. You will notice ki unit change in price ke liye change in quantity is very small in this case. Whereas in part D, you see that the change in quantity is much higher as compared to part C. So agar change in quantity much higher hai for the same changes in prices, then we call that case as a more elastic demand curve. So this one part C is a less elastic or you can say that steeper the demand curve, elasticity will be lesser or you can say that this is inelastic where the elasticity is less than one. Whereas this is a case where elasticity is greater than one or you can call it as an elastic demand curve. So you just have to remember this basic uh, rule that as the demand curve becomes flatter, the elasticity of the demand curve also increases. So just to summarize these few points, firstly, we started looking at how to calculate elasticity. What is the basic formula of elasticity? This is the basic formula. Then we looked at the problem that this formula could create when you are calculating elasticity between two points. And this is the problem that we saw that when we change the direction of the points, then the results are different. So to avoid this problem, we can calculate the elasticity using the midpoint method where the base is changed to the midpoint of the corresponding variable. So price is ka midpoint and quantity ka midpoint leke hum elasticity calculate karte hai to avoid the problem of different answers. Then we saw that what are the interpretations of different values of elasticity. So if the elasticity is less than one, it represents an inelastic demand curve. If the value is greater than one, it is a case of elastic demand curve or agar equal to one, then unit elastic. Hai. Then we looked at the different shapes of demand curve, which corresponds to these different cases. Uh, this one is a case of a perfectly inelastic demand curve. A horizontal demand curve represents a perfectly elastic or in ke beach ke jitne bhi cases aayenge, they are either inelastic or unit elastic or elastic, where you notice ki jitna zada slope steep hoga uh, demand curve ka, utni kam uski elasticity hogi, or jitna zada flat hoga, utni zada uski elasticity hogi. So these are, by looking at different shapes of demand curve, you can verify the elasticity of the demand curve.